everybody. Steve Har Harvey. Let's listen. Friend of ours. Steve, everybody knows Steve Harvey. Everyone having fun? You having fun? Sir. Steve just came up to say hello, Steve. Mr. Trump. Mr. Trump, can I ask you, sir, how concerned are you some of your cabinet nominees are speaking on Capitol Hill on issues like Russia, Iran, the border wall? And can some of their statements conflict with some of what you have said in the past? No, that all gets straightened out. We want them to be themselves. And I told them, be yourselves and say what you want to say. Don't worry about me. And I'm going to do the right thing, whatever it is. I may be right, and they may be right. But I said, be yourselves. What do you say, Steve? Let them do it. I could have said, do this, say that. I don't want that. I want them all to be themselves. Okay, and on repeal, Everybody okay? Yes, Trump, Everybody sir, on good? repeal and replace. Thank you. Thank you. Say hello to Harvey. Repeal and replace is going great. Sir, Mr. Trump. You can see Donald Trump taking what probably amounts to about two pretty short questions and introducing Steve Harvey, who's coming to the mic. You might recognize Steve Harvey. Of course, he has a daytime talk show on this network, NBC News, on our sister network. Let's listen to what Steve Harvey has to say about that meeting. invited here by the both transition teams, Obama's transition team and Trump's transition team. And uh, it was really a really cool meeting in the beginning. We talked a lot about golf and things like that. And uh, people we knew and people in common and um, and then we got down to the crux of it uh, he's uh, introduced me to uh, Ben Carson who's now the new head of uh, uh, housing for urban development and uh, we've gonna team up and uh, see if we can uh, bring about some positive change in the inner cities which I felt was my only agenda and he agreed and he wants to do something. And uh, he realizes that he needs some allies in that department. And he, he seemed really sincere about it. I mean, Chicago being one. Chicago is definitely one. Another one they want to start with as a target is Detroit. Uh, ben Carson expressed that, because quite naturally he's from Detroit. I want to do some things with on all of the major inner cities to see if we can bring about some change and help some of these young people out. And so that's why I'm here. And it was a successful meeting. And, uh, he seemed really sincere. Thank you, sir. Steve, Steve, I uh, love your jump program. So, is this like something like a jump program? Like this is your, your initial jump into politics, Steve. Well, you know, uh, <laughs> it's not my jump into politics. I ain't going to pass a background check, but uh, I. Uh, it's just me following uh, orders from my friend, uh, President Obama, who said, Steve, you got to, as he told everybody, get out behind your computer, stop tweeting and texting, and get out there and sit down and talk. So I stepped from behind my microphone, and I came and talked to the guy that's going to be the 45th president of the United States. I did what I was supposed to do. How did that meeting come about? Who got in touch with yeah. The transition team from President Obama and the transition team from Donald Trump got me on the phone about a week or so ago. In the inauguration, you No, I'm, I'll be turning 60 on Tuesday, and my wife is taking me far away. So I won't be at anybody's inauguration because my wife said no. The Trump's being on Family Feud. <laughs> yeah, against the Obamas. That'll be good. Or oh, how about the Clintons? If I could set it up, it'd be skyrocketing for the ratings. Yeah. Is it worth getting, maybe you should call them something that's causing the I would, you know. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm handling everything pretty good. You know, it was an, of course, it's, a, it's an honor to be invited to talk. And I think that's the only way that we're going to unify our country. we got to talk, you know. President Obama said you got to sit down and talk. And I really enjoyed the conversation. He seemed really sincere. He was a genuine person in the meeting. Do you have any lingering things you still want to talk further about, or you're still concerned about, you, you, you haven't quite heard what you want to hear yet, or well, I mean, are you exactly on the same page now? For this, we, we got off to a great start. I think it could be the beginning of something. But for them to invite me here to talk about a specific problem and thought that I might be able to help. I know I got a big radio show. You know, I got a lot of people listening every morning. So I've always been concerned about uh, 
inner city problems because they're huge. My mentoring problem, I'm excuse me, my mentoring program has been a part of this type of, and that's what I want to see happen. And they were spot on with it. And Ben Carson got on the phone. I met with him over the phone today, but I sat with uh, President-elect Trump and uh, we laughed a little bit. You know, they, I ain't been laughing that much over the past few days. They kind of beat me up on the internet right now for no reason, but you know, that's life, ain't it? What did you laugh about? Well, we talked about golf. Uh, we laughed about uh, my score in golf, his score in golf. Uh, we talked about some of the friends that we have in coming, Mark Burnett. We talked about TV shows, uh, things like that. He's a fan, so he's seen it. I met his daughter, she was very sweet. So I think we're, I think we're off to a good start. Steve, Steve, how, do you, how do you move between being a, a, a comedian and a spokesperson and being Steve Harvey, trying to also get the message out to the people, to everyone, and have that comedian and... Well, you know, it's two things in your life. Your career is what you paid for, and your calling is what you made for. So I have a responsibility to the community that I service to try to be a voice and, 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 and speak on some issues. And so they've heard me. They know where I stood on the election. But uh, nothing's changed. But we got to talk. And I thought he was a great guy. You know, we really had a nice conversation. There has been a lot of doubt about his administration, about race. Jeff Sessions, his record in Alabama, some of the things the president-elect said during the campaign trail about the inner cities. Yeah. Are your doubts fully gone, or are you going to still try and work them out? With well, I mean, you know, look, you don't, you don't kill it with one conversation, but you can start it with the conversation. So, you know, a lot about what people say, well, now it's time to see what you do. So, and uh, he said he wanted to do something. You, you can't beat better than that, you know, and so we're going to see. I'm, I've been put in contact with uh, Ben Carson, which was great. I spoke with him, and so we're going we're gonna to get some things started. And uh, they have a plan for the inner cities, but they need help. And so that's why they called me. So I'm assuming, so we'll see what I can do. Steve, Steve yeah. do you support the Sessions nomination? The Sessions nomination? Yeah. I don't really know anything about it. I mean, he's a, I mean Ed, you were asking that, his, you know, he's... He, he had a testy hearing this week in which some questioned uh, whether or not he was on the right side of history in terms yeah. of his work in the, in the civil rights. Yeah. Be careful. Well, yeah, I mean... But is it something you've not sort of... Well, I don't, I don't really like commenting on stuff I don't really understand or know about. You know, I'm not a politician, man, to be honest with you. I, I'm hoping that these people can straighten it all out, but I want to get in here and just do my share. And, I had a good conversation, and man, so moving forward, it ought to be good. I appreciate y'all. Thank you, Steve. Thank, 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 Thank you, God. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me, or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.